Thank you, Frank, for talking with me today. Um, as I mentioned in my earlier video, we are at the Project Teams Gathering in Denver, and Frank works on the internationalization project, which is, of course, very important for a project of global scope like this. So, Frank, w would you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your project? Yes, my name is Frank Klöker. I'm the PTL of the um, Hayatin team in the Queen's Cycle of OpenStack. I started in the project team two years ago, 2015, and um, we, in our project, we make um, OpenStack accessible for people with different language backgrounds. What's the status of that project in the in the Pike release? Yes, in the Pike release, we have um, about. Uh, 47 modules translated in different languages. Modules, this is like um, the OpenStack dashboard, Horizon, but also um, documentation. And we are supported in 17 languages in Pike, and we had uh, 64 active translators with the support of 15 companies. Now, when you say that uh, 17 languages are supported, is that a complete translation of everything, or is it just partial? <laughs> More or less. Uh, about 75% of one document should be translated, and then this goes to the pipeline. Okay. These translators, I presume that they're around the world. Um, how do you coordinate an activity like that? You have different language teams with different language team coordinators. It's normally uh, the team in one country, like for me, and um, I'm in the German language team. We are about um, 10 or 12 people, and at least uh, 4 or 5 people are there. Well. Now, what is on... I, I, so, we're, we're just starting the week in Denver, so a lot of these meetings haven't happened yet. But what do you anticipate your progress will be in, in the Queen's cycle? In the green cycle, we have um, we are working very close together with the documentation team. They had more or less done a big migration of documentation stuff uh, from um, center point to the project repos, and we as a translation team, we have to work on this. If somebody were interested in contributing to this in, in uh, translating something. Where would they get plugged into this? Where would they need to go for information? Oh, we have a very good new uh, project on start since Pike. We have this um, OpenStack I18 guide. And this guide um, explains how to contribute as translator on OpenStack, um, how to join the language team, this is the first one. You have to join the language team. Handling translation bugs can work on this. Um, explains the tooling, how it works, we have a translation platform, and how can the translated uh, strings from the translation platform in the um, project frameworks. So, to what degree would I actually need to understand OpenStack itself in order to work on the translation effort? Yes, of course, more or less. Um, you can work on um, uh, Documentation, for example, uh, we have also the upstream training guide uh, in our translation project. And this is the first one. If you start with um, contributing at a normal development level, then you have to start at this point. Tell me some more about, about the Pike Cycle and the work that was done there. Yes, we had the Pike Cycle, uh, what I already mentioned, the i team guide. This guide as a document is also translatable and um, reachable in different languages. We had an uh, upgrade of our translation platform. We work with um, Sanata. Sanata is also um, a very common tool. It's very easy to work on this. And this was also a bigger project for us in the Pike cycle. You have to found um, 
the right time slot for upgrading uh, the tool because you have the release cycle and you, have to, you, you need the platform uh, uh, itself. Uh, then we had made a plan about upgrades process and the data restore. We make testing scenarios and the um, operating system was also upgraded to Ubuntu 16.04 uh, and the data upgrade uh, to the newer version of the newer version also of the background Java, uh, uh, Java application. And this was a cross-project uh, cross between the IT team, the infrastructure team and the Zanata developer team based on Black uh, And the, the great thing about Zanata is that it's also used by a number of other yeah. major open source projects as sure. well, right? Sure, that's good, cool. yes. So if somebody is already working on another translation effort, they might be able to, to fit yeah. in here very yeah. well. So that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. In the Pike cycle, we also the translating of the OpenStack user survey. This and that happened in Pike, or that's, that's in coming? Pike. Okay. So it's already done. Uh, it's available in several languages, and it's a very good user experience. If you are, uh, will ask about um, things in OpenStack, and you can read this in your own language. Yes. Uh, and this was announced on the local OpenStack events from the OpenStack Foundation, like the OpenStack Day in Korea or the OpenStack Day in Munich, in Germany. The, the languages that, that you've uh, translated into, I mean, I, I assume that it's based entirely on what translators are available, but um, are, they, are they primarily European languages or are they uh, Asian languages? Or, or Asian language. We have okay. active teams, teams in Japan and Korea and China. All right. Excellent. That's the biggest three, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What we already uh, have done in the Pike cycle is the translation check site. We have something um, like a normal op OpenStack installation there uh, the with the Horizon dashboard. And on this thing, you can uh, check translated things. This means uh, you translated um, words in the uh, another platform. Um, then the strings are fetched from the translation check site, and you can see this in the context. It's more better. You can see oh, sure. uh, okay. it's in a menu on a tab or um, what this mean. All right. It's very helpful for the translators. Well, thank you very much thank for taking also. time to speak with me, and uh, <laughs> look forward to seeing what what you all accomplish in in Queens. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.